like this. I don't know how far that spring. And then the master came and said, so next week the fjord boat to Alexandrovsky will leave for flower from there to Vaitolati. And if it's something for me, but I didn't hear what he was talking about. Then a couple of days passed. Then the lady said that if I wanted to go to Murmansk with that ship, I didn't really know where Murmansk was. But when I had heard something of what they talked about, I thought I would go. And I put my clothes in order. What I had, sheep wool vest and lompa sleepers and sleepers made of seal skin and other sleepers made of reindeer skin. I filled and put them in an old potato sack I tied it to a stick, and then I was set to leave on a small sailing boat that went Alexandrovsky, that took three days. Then a steamship came, and I took the steamship. There were many other young people from there. They collected those who didn't have parents. They collected them along the coast, and then they took them to Murmansk. I didn't have anyone special there. I left the ship. I was alone, and I was carrying a sack on my back. I wandered during the day through streets that surrounded the city. It was long barracks and dirty, narrow streets. Of the village garbage along the, the streets, wide roads. A Finnish person asked me, where's the boy going? I will tell you I came on a ship and I came here from Vaitolati and he said, come along. So he took me there to the brother's place to talk to the office. And there he arranged a night for me and said, come back there tomorrow morning. And so I went, I went to the barracks for a few hours and slept there at night and the next day. I was so hungry that I didn't have any bread, and so I went there again, and he gave me a little card and a small piece of bread, one or two pieces of bread and sour bread from Russia, and I got a ticket for a train ticket. By train I went to Petro Savorsky the next morning, and again the work barrack was there the night the next morning. As early as possible, I went there to the railway station. The man came to me in the morning. Then he accompanied me to the train. And so the next train to go stopped. So the train, Petro Savorsky took four days before I was in Petro Savorsky. And the bread I got in Murmansk, I ate it on the first day. As I remember, I came to Petro Savorsky station and I left my bag there at the railway station in the waiting room. And I asked the address for where, what was I supposed to go? And someone, he told me that way. So I wandered into the city on foot and found that office. It was late in the evening, but the office was open and I found her there. Maria Helen spoke. She said that I should come there again tomorrow early in the morning and gave me the address where Finnish people go. To Poja Podkorna was the address there. I went there for the night. It was the same type of place as in Murmansk. And I went there to sleep on a bench. I slept that night. And in the morning I got up and went back to Maria Helen's for a talk. And she immediately arranged a temporary room for me and gave me a card where I could eat. And then she said, come again in the afternoon. So I went there again in the afternoon to her place. She said that a Finnish orphanage was being founded. At the time they took my measurements. It took a few or three days. 
I returned later again, and I thanked them and walked back. I went back to Vienna where I slept there the night the next day. When I went back, Ruva Kitten and Maria Helen was there. I tried on new clothes, and I felt good with clothes I had never worn before. The top, the pants were on. I was able to throw the old ones away. I felt comfortable, put on a really nice suit, and I was like other towns, people short half pants and linen shirt and so on. Maria Helen says that she will go to the station tomorrow. I will come with her then. I spent the night there again at the lodge and woke up the next day. I went to the station with Maria Helen. She gave me a ticket. Contopoya. She said that in Contopoya there, a woman will meet me at the railway station and then I went to Contopoya. <laughs> Oh, hey, Lord, Lord.